It's been a sweltering start to summer in Perth. West Australians are flocking to the beach, trying to cool off from the baking heat. And it looks like there'll be much more of it to come. The Bureau of Meteorology's seasonal outlook is pointing to higher than normal summertime temperatures for most of the state, both at day and at night. That's looking especially likely on the West Coast, where there's an 80% chance of hotter than normal weather for the next three months. But the South Coast is the exception. The outlook says that region is looking at average to cool daytime temperatures. It's also looking to be about average in terms of rainfall for all of WA. And for the southern half of WA, average means not much at all. But it could be muggy at times. And we could get some bursts of more humid weather coming down the coast at times as well, which is fairly typical of La Nina and when you get those warm currents down the WA coast. La Nina is playing a big role in the outlook for Eastern Australia, but for WA, there's no single climate driver that's contributing to the outlook. Instead, it's a combination of factors, including the temperature of the Indian Ocean and a general warming trend. After a summer of devastating fire activity a year ago, a later than usual bushfire season is being predicted this time round. But it could be another bad one, with a wet winter and spring boosting the potential for fires through parts of the southwest, including Perth, and parts of the Gascoyne and Pilbara. It could be a busy summer for emergency services, with WA projected to see increased tropical cyclone activity this year and an earlier start to the season. While the outlooks give a pretty good indication of what's to come, it's important to remember weather is a moving beast and it may not pan out exactly as predicted.